Now, in my comment section, I've seen a lot of questions. I'll be answering them one by one. Uh, starting today, I just want to answer one person and uh, another person. Uh, before I answer that one person, I still want to appreciate and recognize the presence of this man of God from Congo. God bless you, sir. God bless you and God bless you, sir. The humility you show and the grace of the Father you are showing. I really love that. And that is one of the things that I really talk about in the discipleship. In fact, majorly what I do in my episodes from now and then from beginning up to now is about discipleship and leadership. Just that. I've not quite touched into the spiritual matters so many times, of which I also do. We do in our church, we do a lot of deliverance. I don't want to put all this in here. We do a lot of prophecy and um, not in the level of Squan. <laughs> Squan has a higher level of doing this one. But then I really want to humbly appreciate and recognize this man, Suspense Ifo. I believe uh, they are Francophone. Uh, they speak a lot of French uh, over there. They speak a lot of French uh, over there. We speak a lot of English. Uh, a lot of English in this other side. But I believe that man of God is full of God's spirit. That's one thing I've perceived in many times. I didn't come here to promote him, but we give honor where honor is due. We are sons and daughters of uh, uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua in one form or another. Somebody is there that has been blessed in business. It doesn't matter. Someone is there that has been blessed in so many ways. Someone is there has been blessed in spiritually. Someone is there has been blessed in the family. We have so many people of big caliber, small caliber, and every other caliber that have gotten touch in this man. So I'm coming here just to station one thing. Let us appreciate everybody that has stood in time. And with, as we continue, we really see now, I've, I've, I've started seeing the, the, uh, the level of Prophet Evelyn is now stepping in. And I want just to mention this before I move on. Uh, Prophet Evelyn has, has, has been given that global mantle. The global mantle that Prophet T.B. Joshua has, has been talking about, talked about before, is now expanding in her hands. And you can see every place and i know very well not very long time you will find like entirely we will have uh scorn reaching different places i'm not trying to campaign uh, about that because god does his own things his own way we are just the recipients of what we see and what we are making or what we are standing for let us appreciate everything how god does it and how god maintains it now and not just now and tomorrow and another day and another day the lord is good all the time and in your life you will stand to realize that starting from anything we do i know we are in a season so much prophetic in every aspect worldwide every place is just prophetic season a season where we are getting into another dimension where life and uh, callings are merging as one you know if you are called you are called you can't maneuver around you see jonah tried it yeah and uh, I, I if I, I will talk about this another time but if i see a lot about jonah jonah just did did dodge the calling of god like many men of god do preach to us that job dodged the, the calling do, job did not dodge the calling no what happened job realized god is sending me in a very delicate mission go there and tell the people that if they don't repent i'm coming to and destroy the entire city of nineveh and then john look at this issue and has been reading the scrolls and the scriptures all around and say aha you god i know you you are god full of mercy you asked me to go over the other side to tell the people that you are coming to destroy them I'm not going because I know you. Once I go there and announce that announcement, you will come and forgive all the people and then the people will take me as the only man that has lied. So Job decided I'm not going to this mission. Let me go to Tashish and do my own thing. And God met him there. Another time comes in your life where it doesn't matter how you misunderstand God's instruction. You must follow. 
I'm now talking generally to everybody, including the former disciples of Squan and anybody that are pastangers or Squan disciples, or you are a disciple in your own ministry somewhere, or you are a disciple of another place or another place, any place you are serving God in one way, under anybody or over anybody. This is what I would really say. Sometimes you will misunderstand God. And not just because you are not spiritual enough. Sometimes God is not just a God who we understand everything. He is infinitive God. A God that goes beyond time. God that goes beyond measures. God that goes beyond ways here and there. Now, there is a way we cannot just come up. There is a way we cannot just come up and understand him. It's not an offense, a serious one, but definitely we know God is an omniscient God. He knows everything. We are limited. So sometimes we underestimate God in his fullness of which it becomes a problem to humanity. And this is exactly what I want to talk to someone about. Put down everything and release yourself into God's hands. Whatever he says, does it. Whatever he talks about, does it. We leave it to him. He's an all-knowing God, omniscient God. I'm Timothy Profitable and this is Blevoy and we come to you today to handle your spirituality, economic and social matters. Keep tuned in the next episodes that are coming. Go and subscribe and talk to your friends about this channel Blevoy TV and share. Share everywhere. God bless you and God increase you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.